Shalom, shalom, shalom. Good evening, loved ones. It is Monday, April 3rd, 2023, 6.30 p.m. Arizona time. We are about to start a fast, so we are coming together in agreement, consecrating the fast to receive justice, to receive provision, to receive deliverance, whatever it is we need from the Father. He said that, uh, Jesus said that sometimes things don't go out by prayer and fasting, so we're going to pray and we're going to fast. So let's just enter into our prayer language and take yourself off mute. And uh, let's enter into our prayer language in a few minutes, and then we will take our communion a little bit. So, Father, we submit our tongues and our spirits to you to pray perfect prayers through us, that prophesy your will for us into the earth realm, that agree with Yeshua's intercession for us. We ask for angels to be loosed into their assignments with excellence, and for the Holy Spirit to give us every bit of revelation that we need to move forward in this. And we're expecting quick turnaround, Lord, because this is the season of harvest. So we thank you that you honor this effort that we're putting forth, and we thank you in advance for the victories that are to come. Just go ahead and pray for a couple minutes, and then we'll take to you. <laughs> Father, we have released forgiveness to everybody that we need to forgive, including ourselves, including you. We bless all of our enemies, and we release them completely from any wrong and any ought, any offense in Jesus' name. Urama Sampadare de Pashi Father, we expect to hear your voice, to see you, to have encounters, and to receive instructions as we fast and as we pray. We praise you, Father, that our storehouses are open in this season, and we say that we can see our way to the door to take possession of whatever it is that we need right now and bring it into the natural. Hundayamara, the Shatta, the Tayabas of Father, and the Yamara, the Shatta, the Tayabas of Father, and the Yamara, the Shatta, the Tayabas of Father, and the Yamara, the Shatta, the Tayabas of Father, and the Yamara, the
I give you praise, honor, and glory, God of justice. I thank you for justice in every realm of our lives. I thank you, Lord God, that your hand is with us, and I call down the vengeance of God wherever we are eligible to receive it. Because you are the one who says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that everything that we are dealing with right now is going to work out in our favor. Thank you, Lord, that you have made us eligible for the hundredfold return for this persecution in this life and eternal life and the life to come. We thank you and praise you that when we catch the enemy, they have to repay us seven times minimum. We thank you and we praise you that you are the one who balances the scales and you are constantly revealing things and examining things and you know what we are owed and what we are entitled to and we submit ourselves to receive it, to take full possession of everything that belongs to us, every harvest, every restitution, every recompense. We call it into our lives now in the name of justice, in the name of God, right now, in Jesus' name. And we expect miracles, signs, and wonders, and quick reversals and turnarounds as we pray and as we fast. Lord, we lift up the representation of the body and the representation of the blood. We speak to every area of our lives. We speak to areas in our bodies where the enemy has taken up residence. And we say as we take this divine exchange into us that you are being evicted and you are no longer to operate or function in our lives, in our bodies, in our minds, in our souls, or in our spirits. You are no longer able to function in our finances. You are no longer able to function in our relationships, in our businesses, in our careers, in our education, in our families. You are no longer able to function. You are being evicted because we are taking the very life of Jesus Christ into us, the representation of his body, which brings us complete healing, the representation of his blood that does everything else because it's supernatural. His blood was shed in seven places completely and in perfection so that we could be perfect on this earth and in this life. And we demand the manifestation of this as we take these elements. Go ahead and take your elements and give Jesus some good worship. Be meditating on what you just did as you took that communion. Let Holy Spirit speak to you and open it up for you. Sometimes they'll come before you and tell you, you took communion. This is one of those benefits of that. Start contending for that. But let him open it up for you and show you all of the blessings and benefits that are available to you. You just took Jesus into your body. Anything you take into your body goes into your bloodstream, goes into your parts, your systems, all of that. So you have the right 
to be in perfect health, perfect condition, and because the blood of Jesus is supernatural, it can go into any area of your life, any realm of your life, anything that you're connected to can be touched by the blood of Jesus. So we see that today from this communion and also expect great things as you fast. God bless you. Copyright 2023, Zari Banks, Inc.